Hello everyone. In this YouTube demonstration, we're going to talk about ASP.NET themes and skins. Many times, students end up dressing based on a particular theme. If it is going to be girls, they say that to be set saris. In hotels also, during the season of festivity, there are a lot of themes based on which menus and ambience is being prepared. So is the case with a web application or a website. ASP.NET provides a convenient way to add themes and skins deployed in a website. A theme is basically a container that holds graphics, skins and other visual presentations. Whereas a skin is an ingredient into the ASP.NET theme folder. Themes provide customized way of interacting with the user. For example, if you would uh, want to provide a lot of personal information, probably you might want to have some personal photographs or personal uh, souvenirs that will talk about your hobbies. So that can have a different page background. All the controls that you would use there might have uh, different colors. And you could also have some monochrome images effect because your personal life would be talking about your past life. Whereas if you talk about your aspirations, it has to be presented in vibrant, youth-oriented colors. So you might arrange your personal page and your professional details page using different pages background and colors for the controls. These provisions are pretty much permitted in ASP.NET. Let's now get started. Let's see a quick uh, demonstration and I'm sure that that will be very helpful for you to come up with appealingly well then UX development. Let's get started. Let's now create uh, the project. Go to new project, ASP.NET web application. You can give as CMJ team skin the nonce. Okay, so you can also make it as an empty website. Now, the project folder, the solution explorer, does not contain any resources other than the default properties, references, and web config file. Let's add let's add ASP.NET folder. Let's go to add. I repeat. Let's go to the project name. Right click. Click on add. Go to add ASP.NET folder. There is a separate folder for various purposes such as code, global resources, local resources, data and browsers. The last one is theme. As I've been telling, the moment you click, we are creating a theme folder. You would have a folder name app underscore themes and then the default theme would be theme one. Let's change the default theme name. I would like to make this as CMJ theme one. Okay, a theme is a folder that can contain images or graphics, CSS file and the skin file. A skin is a file with the extension .skin which provides absolute control over how each of the graphic user interface element such as button, label, text box, hyperlink control, everything can be displayed in terms of color, in terms of size, in terms of four color. Whereas a theme provides overall look and feel of each other web page. Say for example, the background and how, you know, uh, the background should transition depending on, uh, you know, uh, uh, the pages that the website has. For example, when we have the user who is a minor, who has not completed 18 years of age, who wants to do online banking, we can provide, you know, a mild theme. For a male customer, we can provide more masculine color page background. And for a female you know, customer, we can provide more you know, feminine color, say for example, lavender and pink. I can customize the way in which my web applications, you know, provide interface and, you know, come up with an user interface experience for the end user. So I would like to, you know, uh, add uh, a CSS to this particular theme. Okay. For that, I need to go 
right click the theme name right click the theme name i need to go to add again in that there are various options one option would be style sheet choose that okay then we can give the name here i would choose the name as uh, i would give the name as my style sheet 1 i say okay immediately i provide i am being provided with an area where i can literally type the css2 or css3 you know uh, coding instruction it is how one would have already learned so i already have some code type i would like to just give some background you know color for uh, you know one specific web page so i have the code already copied so for this theme i would like to give a specific background color so let's select all let's paste it so for the theme cmj theme one there is now a style sheet being made ready okay so now we have a theme folder existing inside that there is only one ingredient which is style sheet but the definition of a theme folder is that it can have a style sheet it can have an image it can also have skin files let's put some you know graphics in this particular theme folder okay so let's go to the desktop i have an image already ready okay so the cmj is a theme folder after selecting the folder we can drag drop any image there if you don't select a folder you will have difficulty uh, sometimes i myself have faced the difficulty so i am now clicking and dragging into the cmj folder now in the cmj theme one folder my logo has now been added okay now that the theme file is almost ready one thing is it does not have a skin file as one would agree that the theme folder can exist without a skin file as well but the theme folder cannot exist in isolation what i mean is without a skin file without any other graphic element and without the you know, style sheet there is no point in having a theme folder at all so i in this theme folder i don't have to add a skin file as it has been already introduced uh, an asp.net application can have multiple themes probably we would create one more theme and add a skin file there so let's go ahead and add a web page add a new item which is going to be a web form i would say this as about us okay let's add it now this web page is pretty much empty it does not have anything inside it okay and i'm going to make this as a startup page and when i would launch this or run this application the about us page as it was empty during the design stage would not show up anything when the application is being run now if you would close this and go to the source page okay the page directive has very many number of attributes and values this is where we can define the theme let's now give theme is equal to already the current folder as cmj theme 1 automatically that theme 1 gets listed if there have been two themes those two themes will be listed the programmer can choose one conveniently let's choose cmj theme 1 now what we do is we are inspecting you know that the about us page acquire the various properties the various visual cues that are defined there in various resources of the theme folder i repeat in various resources of the theme folder as of now the theme folder contains a style sheet that style sheet talks about the page background color and the style sheet also has a logo okay besides that there is nothing else but in order that the logo image is being you know shown on the page i can place an image control this is how normally we work in any web page go to image control choose the control go to the properties go to the image url and then we have drag drop the image the graphic not anywhere else but inside the theme folder so the app theme now has chris the cmj theme one when you would go and traverse this and choose the very appropriate folder wherein we long we drag drop the logo file it should be there so a theme file theme folder can have any graphic let me choose this graphic say okay 
now it's being added this is the default length and you know uh, you know uh, width of the original image it's now being added okay now let's save the page and then let's launch the application there is going to be one fundamental difference okay that would be the background color we never did anything other than mapping about this pages theme property to be equal to cmj theme one various other you know properties have been defined in the style sheet so the about this web page now acquires whatever the theme setting that was originally given in theme one is okay with that uh, we, we just have the background being added okay that is there so uh, one sec let me close the files okay so this is here let's end this let's add one more file I can call it a services web form. Okay. I can call this a services web form. Okay. I can uh, place the same image control. Okay, for a change, I would like to give three buttons. Let's change the text property of the button. I would like to give the text property as refer to skin ID 1. Then I would like to give this the text of the second button to be equal to refer to skin ID 2. Then refer to the third text property of the button control can be refer to skin 3. Okay. Now I wish that each of these three button will be equal in size, but in terms of appearance, these have to be changed. Probably, you know, this can be to the customer who is very new this can be to the customer you know who repeatedly comes but he is not the privileged customer probably this color would define the privileged customer that means he is a corporate client whenever he places an order the order is in bulk so i need to concentrate by giving more customized option you know make the person feel more happy therefore i need to be giving a lot of effects i know to this button control so uh, but all these three buttons are my customers okay i cannot just say he is a bigger guy so let me make this appear in bigger font. You know, it may not be well understood. But in terms of appearance, I would like to show the difference. That can be achieved by having, you know, various you know, skins. So in order to make these three buttons in different color, we can individually go to the four color property of the button and then we can work. But what about an e-commerce page, okay? I can go to the four color, I can change it. But what about an e-commerce page that has about thousand pages each of the you know, pages having five buttons. One cannot be you know giving four color effect to all the five thousand buttons in in thousand pages. That's going to be you know very tedious job, and it will be you know leading to a lot of uh, developmental charges. You will have to keep paying the human resource. Not just that, your e-commerce site will not be up and running at the right time. All these are the most important factors in terms of you know the product launch. So I need to have a specific and a very easy way of referring to some style as it was the case with master page you know uh, 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 in all other pages also especially with regard to controls for that we need to create a theme as the very definition said an asp.net can have multiple themes let's create one more theme folder for this application add okay asp.net folder theme but i'm going to call this theme as acmj theme 2 okay so I'm going to make this, uh, you know, a little different by giving some, you know, more additional effect in terms of uh, or more additional programming output in terms of the style sheet. So let's add a style sheet. Okay, I would call this as 
my style sheet to but i'm going to give a different instruction the instruction would be to do some rollover when the image is being moused over i would like the image to gain or lose the opacity for that this is the CS, CS, uh, css 3 code image colon hover what it means is when the image is being mouse hover okay the opacity of the chosen image would be 100% if the mouse pointer goes out of the you know, image it will be uh, you know brought down to 50% opacity just to show some difference between you know, these uh, two uh, themes i have added a style sheet now i would like to you know add some skins added to the theme 2 folder so add i have something called this web forms skin file okay i would say button display skin okay button display skin it is the file name skin files will have the extension dot skin as of now i'm just typing the file name button display skin say okay automatically the theme 2 folder has a skin file with the extension dot skin as it would be the case with the master pages which would have the extension as dot master skin files will have dot skin as the extension it is going to be something like this okay where you can enter what we typically do is okay if you would go to this uh, you know services page if you go to the source okay we have various tags for button okay in the skin file you will be almost working with the same tag but only thing is you need to additionally talk about which four color it has to take color okay and what is the id of that particular skin each of the skin can be identified with a specific skin name there are two categories of skin files available one is called as default skin you can have one to one skin for the whole project once you say button you know aqua the whole project thousand web pages and 5000 buttons will appear only in aqua color or will only in green color you can also have skin files to be the named skin file that means you can exactly make each of the skin files to be different from the others you can provide a unique id in that way by mentioning the skin id we can make the control to take unique behavior in terms of their appearance in terms of the colors and the font that they work with we can also do that so uh, what we need to know is we need to know how to write this code a shortcut would be to go to the you know web form source page and copy this tag and add some color and skin id to it we need to copy this tag so let's go to the skin file okay and we're going to type this i already have it typed okay what we're going to place is three buttons should appear in three different colors okay i would like to give unique name to it so asp button run at server it's a server side controls back color will be red it's a, normally the property and then the property value attribute and value then i can give uh, other property called the skin id this skin id will be visible when you go to the property of a button so we are going to give that skin id to be equal to first mca again for the second button the same thing only thing is i change the back color in order to uniquely identify it i need to give the skin id okay the same one line this is how skin files will be created okay the programmer can copy the tag of all the control text box label button hyperlink drop down everything okay as it has been already introduced uh, to the students uh, as it is a server side control asp dot server side control and it runs on the server okay we give the you know preceding asp to differentiate this from the html control remember that has been already covered so this is how we will be you know uniquely giving some appearance instruction to the button to the text box and other controls is that okay fine now i have identified now what i need to do is i need to go to the now the cmg theme 2 and its ingredients the ingredients of cmg theme 2 are skin file and style 2 dot css these resources are ingredients contained in cmj theme 2 folder is in just this joint position when compared with the whole project that means the rest of the project has got no link to the cmj theme 2 what we need to do is we need to make a web page to refer to a theme okay for that we need to choose the web page 
and go to the source okay when you go to the first page we know that really well okay then we need to work with the attribute called t is equal to now as there are two team folders in a current project cmj team 2 would also be listed i choose this okay let's go to the design remember i have an image placed but team 2 folder has specific instruction to display image half reduced in opacity whenever it is not mouse over when it is mouse over then the actually existing bright color will be shown that is the instruction given in css so accordingly this image will behave i know as opposed to the previous image because we never gave any css code for the image control in the previous is you know uh, theme 1 cmj theme 1 then we have placed three buttons and then we need to now make these buttons to reflect the skin id let's choose this let's go to the property there is a you know property called skin id let's click that it is going to dro drop open something we can choose first mc for this i can say second mc only the color is going to be different i can choose for this i can choose third mc i have done it let's save let's launch it no we are not going to start the project let's uh, choose services as the start page let's save launch now services web page is launched but you know it has got its own you know uh, 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 instruction from the theme folder first one is the css style sheet which says only when the mouse point is ro rolling over or hovering over the image control the image will have the 100 percent opacity let's try that it's not it's not 100 yet it's not it's not 100 yet it's not 100 yet it's not 100 yet but upon the mouse hovering over the image it has to turn 100 that's what the function will do in css the moment it hovers it touches it hovers over it changes to this thing the moment the moment it goes even one person out of it it color changes it's because of the css okay then the button first skin id is red color second skin id is green color third skin id is aqua color now like services we can add other thousand pages also simply go to the source go to the page directory Type theme is equal to automatically it will list the same thing to choose it immediately everything will come. That means you write the code only once you can enable that in, in terms of you no know, multiple number of times. You know that's going to be the you know quick uh, you know uh, concept. The difference between master page and uh, uh, you know themes and skins are these. Master page you have one design template. You give a standard instruction for the rest of the pages to copy it. To inherit it uniformly, that's the most important thing. Okay, in terms of the background color, in terms of the menu appearance, in terms of the image appearance, in terms of any of the you know behavioral changes, all the pages contained in the you know folder, if it is being made to inherit from the master page, they will have the same size. But with regard to themes and skins, if I were to give a customized user specific, audience specific you know engagement experience or user experience themes are the best solution what asp now asp.net adds is it adds the power of css3 within the context of microsoft if you are a master in css3 you can bring all your you know, you know capabilities in css3 and create a fully functional css3 you know side sheet in asp.net and then you can make sure that the user interface is you know looking stunningly beautiful that's the whole idea. Okay, so there will be a time where one particular web forms or web pages theme must be very uniquely done. It could be a discount offer being made by the e-commerce site. So that one thing should be the standout. So it has to override the default theme being chosen. For that, what we could do is we could go to that particular pages page directive and then we can specify the theme name for example for the services uh, page i have uh, gone to the source in that i am referring that the services page alone should be referring to the cmj theme 2 whereas the services the about us page 
you know as cmj theme 1 and then the web form the, the sample page does not have any reference to the theme at all again web form 2 does not have any reference to the theme at all let's you know round this uh, let's let's run this in a cyclical fashion to check how we could uh, you know put the themes usage i am now run, running web form 2 web page it does have only one link even when i have not specified the theme you know property it shows uh, the you know theme as a coral color which was the theme given in uh, theme 1 it does have a you know link let's click on the link and navigate to the web form 1 again web form 1 web page has the background color which is the which was given in the css belonging to cmj theme 1 when i would like to go to the services page here the buttons do not have any change of color which is a skin file containing in cmj theme 2 folder whereas the page background color does have its impact because in cmj theme 1 there is a css file that has got a specific instruction to display the background in coral color so when i would go to the services page here we wanted this page to be a standout as it is the most important and we wanted this alone to take its own theme specification and we have given cmj theme 2 in the page directory okay so this does have its own you know colored specification and the you know uh, opacity reduction when we would go to the about us page it again goes to the theme one where the background color changes in a way instead of going to each of the pages theme property and specifying the required theme ASP.NET gives one straight shortcut way where you can make all pages to you know inherit one theme and depending on the importance and depending on the significance for few pages you could make them inherit special themes also that's why an ASP.NET web folder supports the creation and you know deployment of multiple theme folders inside a project let's see how that can be achieved let's terminate the application let's go to the web config file web config file is the most important file in an asp.net in a solution explorer this contains all the settings you know settings of every nature one of the settings would be the pages tag so what we need to do is we need to go to the system web tag this contains so many other elements inside it one of the you know, important elements would be pages Pages mean each of the page you are configuring. So we are instructing the setup page to refer to the theme one by default. Even if you create tens of thousands of pages in the current folder, all those several thousand pages will by default refer to the CMJ theme one. Unless otherwise you would overwrite for that particular page, which I have done for the services page. Okay. Because of this setting only, even though I have not mentioned the theme property for web form 1 and web form 2, automatically the background color turns to be coral. But for the services page, manually I have given an overriding by going to the pages directory, page directory for that. In plural, it will be pages for all the you know uh, web forms in a thing in a, in a folder. Here I have given it a customized uh, name which is CMJ theme 2. And that's why only services page has its own you know unique standing out uh, you know uh, uh, experience or you know uh, uh, display whereas the other web pages such as about us web form 1 and web form 2 have default uh, themes as configured in the web configuration setting using the page element or page tab thank you i'm not sure that you have got some training some hands-on experience as to what ASP.NET themes are and how to work with them. Please do practice. If you do have doubt, you could get back to me later. Thank you. All the very best.